be refining. Many difficulties we face in our lives, it is because of unfinished process. You did not allow the process to finish. Many things we enjoy today is as a result of a process that is finished. Human beings, today we are this beautiful, productive, wise, because when God was creating us, He completed it. It would be very horrible if Adam walked away when God was on his waist part or just finished one ham. So Adam feel very strong, just ran with the ham. We will not be like this today. But God did not breathe into Adam until he finished it. Many things we are impatient about. We are running from the process. And until you allow the process, you will not enjoy the result. Every process has a result. Ask professionals to tell you, when you are given an appointment, if you are not very experienced in that role, they'll give you a training. And sometimes the training could be three days, one week, seven days, four weeks, one month. Imagine if you just walk away from the class or from the training session. And then the instructor says, hello, madam, where are you going? I'm done. I understand all this thing. I'm going to my office. When you go, when tasks starts to show up, when they show up from the side that you know, you'll be smiling. There's a second part of the instructions which you left and now after one two months tasks from the second part of the instruction start to show up now you are calling your boss your team leader you are calling your office mate your colleague uh, do you have any idea where i can get time why your training was unfinished every dream you have there's a process for it every vision of your life there's a process for it. Every desire, there's a process for it. Every prayer request, there's a process for it. And the earlier you conform to the requirements and reality of the process, the better the result will be. Process. It's called refining. Many people refused you because you were still in crude form. Impurities are there. Where do we find gold? Not in gold, in the earth. Deep down we dig and even after finding it, gold does not look like gold. It looks like a thick dirt. Do you feel like dirt? I do. But be patient. Remain in the refinery. Let the Holy Spirit put you through fire. Now, this doesn't sound like an amen part, but it's burning on wanted matters. The scripture says in the book of Corinthians, there is no temptation that comes to us that God allows that it doesn't come with a road of escape. Every temptation you face, I face, is our size. You have no excuse to fall into it. The scripture says in Proverbs, the just fall seven times and rise again. When you fall, don't wait for someone to pick you up. Pick yourself up. Lift your hands. Prophesy with me now. No matter how deep I fell, no matter how my fall is, I know I will rise. It is beautiful if you are in the dark when you know day comes or when you don't know day comes or when it feels like it's taking too long, you feel a little bad. But if there is a night, there must be a day. Hallelujah. If there is loneliness, there must be companionship. If there is rejection for you, there must be acceptation. If there is a start, there must be an end. Why are people not confident? Because the result of the process is not nice. 
they did not complete the process. Confidence is inevitable when the process is completed. Say to the Lord once more time, I surrender myself to your processing. 1 Peter 5 verse number 10 After you have suffered for a little while, the God of all grace, who imparts his blessing and favor, who called you to his own eternal glory in Christ, will himself complete, confirm, strengthen, Hallelujah! And establish you! making you what you ought to be. Can someone say amen? So let God continue his process in your life. Know what you are so that you don't look at something else. Why are you ashamed of how you are or how you look? Why? God made you beautifully. Our what? It's not in the appearance. Otherwise, the most beautiful people, wherever they live, will be very nice. Our worth is in our usefulness. 2 Timothy 2, verse 21. Therefore, if any cleanses himself, here is purification, from these things which are dishonorable, disobedient, sinful, he will be a vessel for honor. And it says, sanctified, set apart for special purpose and useful to the master, prepared for every good work. Okay. There's a problem if you are only processing everything that has a start. Because I give myself to his purification. If you do, you will speak purity. You will see purity. You think purity. We live in a sinful world. And his purification is the hope for salvation for the world. For if we are like the world, what can they see? You are purified. Remain pure. James 1, 2. My beloved brothers and sisters, be joyful. When you fall into different kinds of tests, knowing that these tests which you are falling into, it will produce in you value, patience, and now allow that which it produces have its perfect work, that you may be complete. God placed your dream in bitterness. Your dream is in bitterness. When I say bitterness, I don't mean the other type of bitterness. I mean experience. Not you being bitter, but experience, pain. God wants to make you popular, so he allows you to go through terrible self-esteem, breaking the fabric of your identity. He wants to make you popular, so he allows arrows to hit your identity, mar you. Why? Because if you allow it, it will make you strong when you become popular. Is your love for the Lord greater than your love for His blessings? Is your frustration getting your concentration more than God's Word? When you answer these, you will know if you are allowing His process or not. Concentrate on Him. Forever, O oh Lord, your word is settled. In heaven it is settled. Father, your word is settled in heaven. And here on earth we decree the settled word. You said, after you have suffered a little, I will establish you and settle you. And that word is settled in heaven. We declare the settlement on the earth and we thank you for the process that each one of us are going through. Mothers, fathers, sisters, children, each one of us, each one of us, going through a process. We say yes to your will, to your way, to your time. We don't want to rush out of it. We don't want to be only in processing. 
We want your will. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Be refining.